I'm a little under the weather this morning. If my voice sounds a little different, my allergies are coming back with a vengeance. So, I thought oh, you got joy. a little hair on your chest this week. <laughs> mm, no, no, I didn't get hair on my chest. <laughs> but as promised, this week, your gifts. I brought right. them. Oh, yeah, well, look there for Tom. I got a phone. Well, to be honest. Did you forget that, too? No, it's in Shelby. Oh. <laughs> what? It's not. Huh, Tom's. My gift is in Shelby, then you forgot it again. Well, technically. Technically, no. The okay. kids mo- put it in the pile to go to their uh, their nana's, and it ended up in Shelby, and my wife didn't get it on the way back home. So it looks like Tom it's has Tom, empty, one more sto- week. <laughs> empty stocking again. Tom. Like, Tom, like, Tom, it wasn't that. It was in the yard sale stuff, and it kind of got moved <laughs> back yeah, over yeah. to where it should have been. No, no it, it, it's, it's sitting over there. I said, where's this at? She goes, Crap, I left it over at mom's. I was like, what do you mean you left it over at mom's? Did the kids put it in the stack? Oh, I'm just, I'm just glad I know I mean this. Kevin, to the Kevin station. was going to re-gift Tom <laughs> present. He ain't got yet. I was <laughs> like, I'm just going to have to go. I ain't going over this morning waking him up. Hey, can I get Tom's uh, bag? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Tom. It's okay, anyway, buddy. Deppie, what you got there? Well, there you go. Whoa. A broken leg. What Tom needs is... Thank um, you very much. A helmet for his for his rides in his car. I do need that, yeah. So JP with the Happy New Year, Merry Christmas card, and a meal from Chick Fil A for me. Thank you very much, sir. Something else? What do you mean? I don't see anything oh. else. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I don't Chick Fil A. I, I didn't get my. I didn't get the naked picture of you. I asked for JP. Thank you very much, boy. <laughs> Thank you, JP. Hey, JP. Uh, my grandfather's a uh, JP's got some coins for people. Hey, didn't know I can hear him. You know, he's in the middle of the room with no no mic. <laughs> what you got there? All right. Caroline, he's got some panther, some panthers quarters. That's All right, let me see what you got. Hey, we take two of those and, and buy buy. Uh, you could have bought a ticket. Ticket to two the game. Two tickets last week. Fifty cent. Oh, so. Oh, I was hoping so bad there was a Ray Carruth in here. There is a. Uh, <laughs> there's a regular yeah. Panthers helmet, Zach. All right. I'm gonna pass these around. There is a. Oh, this one's for Tom. This is a Chris Gamble All NFL right. coin. Guess that comes Ohio State. Tom, you don't get good for us. This, on, one, okay. this one is for <laughs> Zach. Oh, because, my wife, I have hard Because his I his wife will, will want this one. So this is for Zach's wife, Jake Del Homie. She lo- <laughs> yeah, that's what she's called. She, she loves And Jake. this worked out perfect that I've got the one, the only, where's, where's my camera? The greatest Panther of all time, John Casey. John Casey, <clears throat> lost his Super Bowl. The greatest Panther. He didn't give up 35 points on defense. How many did he score, Zach? Kick it out of bounds. Okay, so what happened after that? How many points did the Patriots get when he kicked it out of bounds? <laughs> None. Julius oh. Peppers in the steroid riddle defense gave up 50 yards and a field goal after that. Huh? Huh? I remember one time I was in the Lowe's in Lincoln, and somebody came out there and said, i got to ask you something. What? He goes, are you Jake DeLome? I'm like, I'm like Jake DeLome's like six five, dude. <laughs> it's funny you brought that up. We went to uh, we went to one of the games. I can't remember which one it was. What you got there? Oh, awesome! What yeah. is that? Oh, oh, you got you got a display you. for them. Okay. Are they quarters or just coins? So I can like use you it at the car. It. I can use it at the car wash. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you, JP. Well, thank you, JP. Thank you, JP. We went to one of the games. Uh, we were sitting pretty pretty low. We was down in the end zone, and he come running uh, like the team goes back up under. I didn't you know, even see Chuck in. sneak in. What did he get here? And I, what a ghost. He oh, was a chip. <laughs> he, was chip. I mean, chip. <laughs> he was a lot taller than I thought he, he would be. I didn't think Who? he was that. Jake. He's yeah. tall. He's yeah, very he's tall. tall. And he's yeah. skinny, skinny, so it makes him yeah. look even that yeah. much taller. So. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, we're uh, the show is brought to you by McDonald's of Cheryl and the Kuthan family, and uh, all the their local McDonald's that they own. To, uh, check check out your local McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just finished up my sausage biscuit. Zach, what you eating on this morning? I had a gravy biscuit and a strawberry cream pie. 
I had a sausage and egg McMuffin with uh, two hash browns. I had a bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffin with a strawberry cream pie. All right. Well, uh, and JP, what you about to eat on? And I guess Chip's got something too. I got a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin and uh, chocolate milk. What'd you round, get? Round what? egg? Is it round? No, it's just, it's a McMuffin. Oh. Sausage, oh. egg, and cheese McMuffin. Are you going to be able to swallow it if it's not round? It, the, the, the round egg is on the McMuffin. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> just curious. Terry, was you not curious about that? No, really. not really. <laughs> no. He does have a, a round egg every time. He's got to mention that every time. Well, well uh, raise your hand if your football teams went 3-0 and this week. N- none of y'all? None of y'all's football teams went 3-0 and oh, this Cleveland week? Cleveland won twice. And, uh, what? I had a good week. What would y'all do? I had, I had a good week of football. Did y'all have a good week of football? Tom, no. did you have a good night last night of football? No. Terry, did you have a good night two nights ago of football? It didn't bother me. <laughs> how'd, y'all like the, how'd y'all like the way the Tar Heel game started? <laughs> Zach had the uh, seventy five tar- yard the, bomb. Had the Tar Heels do in football? I turned it off after that. I'm like, this is bad. That, that I is, mean, our starting defense you know is but horrible. You know what? Yeah. That's a Tar Heel fan. They scored a touchdown. I turned it off. <laughs> I knew. I, I wasn't gonna waste my time. UNC fan. I don't know what. I wasn't gonna waste my time. I don't know what it is. <laughs> our, our, our I, I want to tell you something. Though. And Did Zach, you see I, the crowd at the game? Oh, yeah. it was all West Virginia. Yeah, it was a that. sea yeah. of blue and yellow. Four hundred of them. Did you go? No, I could see it. No, in the, all these the, local I could people see it don't the, go. Okay. They don't. They don't go. They, they're not going to a mayonnaise bowl, man. Come on. Well, my my deal is this, y'all, and this bothers me. We was talking about this before we come in here. Carolina had nineteen people. Either you're transferring, you're waiting for the NFL draft, you're just not playing. How can you be called to bowl games if Mike Brown knows? And I, I, I even question, it's not against him, but you got 19 people who have opted out. And Zach was talking a minute ago when we first came on. He said, eventually people will quit going. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I'm not, I'm not mm-hmm. going to go watch part of my team and I've got 19 guys and probably not all of them were starters is what got me, Zach. Yeah. But the problem is, is 19 guys not playing that, so that's a backup for somebody that's not playing. I, I considered going to the Cotton Bowl, considered it. But then I'm like, why do I want to fly it? A thousand dollar flight, mm-hmm. tickets, three, four hundred dollars. Where, you know, you got your best player, Marvin Harrison Jr., sitting down there in street clubs. Yep. I mean, it's just like, I mean, and I get it. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't fault the young man. He's worried about his future. You're worried about your future. I, I mean, I'm not going to, but why am I going to pay? Fifteen hundred dollars for myself, fifteen hundred dollars for my daughter, plus a hotel, plus meals, to go watch. You know, you get beat fourteen to three. Is there not I mean, enough who, money? Who, want, who wants to watch that? Is there not enough money going around for the NCAA to insure these players? But I'm just saying. No, I'm not. I'm not even saying that. What, what, to get them what, to get them to play the bowl and, games. And, what I'm saying. I, well, no, me. Forget it. If you're in the, it's like the NFL, right? If you're, if you make the playoffs, you play. If you don't make the playoffs, you go home and, and figure out what you want to do. Like a lot of these young men, Ohio, like Ohio State had like 15 transfers. Well, I mean, you know, the season's over then, right? You had 15 guys leave the program. This guy's hurt. This guy's not playing. Why are we playing a bowl game? It's a scrimmage. It's almost like uh, it's a reverse, preseason if it's uh, a NFL. Re- it's a reverse scrimmage. I mean, well, you, you I mean, knew last night, Tom, when they come on there and the first thing that was said is all your tra- people that are transferring or going to NFL, whatever, are not playing. Missouri, all of theirs played. Yeah, they did. You, yeah. you have no chance to beat a top-notch team with all, all of their play- players Tom, playing. And, and Tom made a good point about that. It was either Terry or Tom, I was talking to both of y'all about it, but they, one of y'all said some of these teams need to get their name out there so they're going to play their players so – Ohio State might not have played their best players. Missouri does, and they they get a little bit of name recognition. Right. I I, I think it's I think it's definitely for the team without the brand to yeah. go out yeah. there and and play a little harder. And does I, and does I that not well? Does it also not prove that these coaches are also, you know, not overrated? F- full overrated. of it. Overrated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, not really. Well, no, no. Hold on. This is why. Not not. I'm talking about the big name guys. Because as soon as they lose their five star recruits and have to play even, they get whipped, and that's my point. As soon as my five star recruits, because Missouri's ain't got no five stars that are going to the NFL or they're transferring to yeah, they might wherever. have their one or two. That's that's yeah. who's staying. That's what Tom's saying. They can't stay. They ain't got nowhere to go. Where are they going? So we've got all our players. We're going up against you. 
Oh, you lost your five star. You lost your NFL player. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, I can't coach all of a sudden. Nick Saban and all, all the was, yeah. you know, if I go to Miami, I ain't got Drew Brees. I can't yeah. win a game. Got you three and four stars Cole, versus he had three Cole and four stars. Like he couldn't throw eighty yards. But now here, here's so, your but difference. It, it exposes the coaches who rely on the recruiting. On the talent. Yeah, it's it's really hard to unless you are a fighting Irish who their backups would be starters for Oregon State. And there's I, the difference because then it, no, the it, Fighting Irish went out there and just stampeded beat the, beat the crap out all of over Oregon State. Why? Because Oregon State has some people who were opting out. Okay, Notre Dame's got so many guys that are they top notch. Probably four stars sitting on the bench. Yes, loaded. And, then, and so uh, and, they and, get and to Oregon play. Comes in with probably three star, you know, two three yeah, star. Yeah, athletes. it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Notre Dame destroyed them. Alabama would do the same thing with their backups. And I think the the motivation's changing too. That. Uh, these guys are, are, are you know, and, and understand. It, it's hard to judge them because we all worry about money. We all we all like money, so, but it's becoming more about that. And it's like, well, look, man, I've got a career. I can make some money. Why am I going to go out there and get hurt and, and jeopardize that? I mean, I I understand, but my yeah, there's not many people there, especially since this game was played in Charlotte. And the ones that well, were there were the West problem. Virginia fans. Yeah, the problem here: you five hours away from West Virginia, you're three hours away from Chapel Hill. And no more Tar Heels come than what come. They they're not going to support their team unless they've got a chance to go. That's just the way they are, Terry. You know, you've lived in North Carolina. I was about to say, Carolina supports yeah, their squad. Right. Most of the say, time, Carolina has a full is. basketball. Line. Basketball, yes. Yeah, they football, do in yeah. basketball, but yeah. football they have been. It is a not a secret that in the state of North Carolina, if your team is not successful. They do not come to the games at all. Carolina Panthers, you Panthers, can prove that. Hornets, yep. whatever that is. If you lit your Tar Heels, whatever, you, you're, if your team is not good, they will not show up. And that's what you're supposed to do as far as you're supposed to speak with your feet and with your purse. If you, if you put a crappy product on the field, you know, I'm not coming. But I don't know about – this is not a crappy product. This is a bowl game in the middle of the – Middle of the middle of the state where everybody should be able to close to, to, to yeah. go. Yeah. You know, you got plenty of fans. <clears throat> the fact that there's almost none is 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 it is it is embarrassing. Yeah. Yes, it is. I mean, you, for the folks, and I don't blame folks, Carolina listen. people. I would say it at home too. If Drake May's not playing, why why should I go watch that? For the folks not listening, driving three hours. Uh, well, not all Carolina fans live in Chapel Hill. Right? <sighs> Uh, for for uh, well, it should have been filled up just from out of Charlotte, <laughs> right? And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna put it like that, right. Charlotte. Like just, I mean, like there's a lot of college football fans. They they couldn't. I mean, those tickets weren't cheap. If you're looking, the folks listening on the radio were showing video online of the fans uh, in the crowd, and uh, and it's it's 90 percent West Virginia. There's nobody in the upper deck that's sealed off. And uh, it's the the lower bowl is probably what sixty percent full. I mean, if that, so yeah, yeah, not if, even if, that. <clears throat> now, now I, I don't know what. I guess this was right before kickoff. Maybe I know they did fill up the end zones because when they had that first touchdown, that seventy five yard. This is right before kickoff. Yeah, they they, they those blue this areas is, were. Yeah, it was probably that's the bands. That's are. what I was gonna say. It's probably the mm -hmm. the bands and stuff like that. But it was it was loaded up. So bowl season has kicked off and in and in full. Uh, it's about the gamblers, man. I, I well, I'm going to tell you what, young. that's hard to gamble. It is. I don't care who you are. I don't care what type of gambler you like, are. How, how can you even? Basket. Yeah. How can you even if you go 500, give yourself a check. I mean, that's how I look at it. How can you even give a spread on that? Be in Vegas. Does that not make it a lot harder on Vegas? I mean, it's true, but they know they, they, they somehow get, do a pretty good job of it, though, don't they? <laughs> well, I'll put it to you like this, and this was us last week. We had 22 games. Ain't but one person in here went 500. One. Uh, Everybody I else was below. I was like, ooh, we, 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 we were horrible. Tom, congratulations. <laughs> he hit 11 out of 22. I hit 10 out of 22, and Zach hit 8. <coughs> I mean, there, there's there's no way. You're lucky if you have 500 record. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we could have let JP pick, and he'd have beat That's it. what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. JP could have just picked. Not well, know nothing, and he could right. have been what we got. So that it, it, you know, for for the for the teams that don't make you know the the playoffs and going forward, you do have to uh, you know figure out something to uh, whatever some type of incentive. You know, a lot of these bowls, I know they're like playing during the 
you know, during the Christmas season and stuff, what do you think about moving them up to, to closer towards the end of the regular season so, you know, the kids are still there in school and in class and, and, and haven't graduated yet or haven't left campus yet? Or do them home and away. Well, that too, that, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. You know, and, and, and Tom, the, the, you're right about that because they don't, obviously they don't care about attendance. It's about the sponsorships and the TV ratings. So they could sponsor Ohio State and Missouri at, at Missouri at their, or at Ohio State. But my proposal would be at the underdog. Well, that's – Kevin, nobody does that. No. Well, well, let's have a little fun, Tom. You know, this game doesn't mean anything anyway. Let's have a little fun. Why shouldn't Ohio State have to go to, like, Youngstown State and play them at Youngstown? That would be – Yeah, but that's not a bowl game. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I – I, I, I just I, – well, it, it, it would be it? hard. You know what I would say? In, in, in my my rebuttal to that would be okay. Well, we're <clears> playing <throat> different conferences. We had to just flip a coin. We're gonna flip a coin. Heads your place, tails mine. You know, just flip a coin wherever it is. Then we'll then we'll go there. Oh my God, the pop tart. This is this is that what, was pretty neat though. How they did that. This is what happens if you're NC State in a bowl game. They put the wolf in the in the pop tart, in the toaster, and out he comes, and they eat him. That left-handed quarterback, Terry, Tom, is he, is he going to be your starter next year? Tom, how is this legal to show suicide on TV like this? <laughs> pop tart suicide, or, or or what was it? Pop tart aside, I don't know what to, I don't know what to call it, but he he jumped into the toaster so he could be eaten by the victorious team. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I mean, Hex State had so many people out on defense. I mean, I, that's the stuff that bothers me. So I mean, this cat, this, this, this cat like, uh, he played this role the whole time. Like, uh, but, but I do got a question. He did slap a referee in the booty. Could that referee sue? And should he? I would. Sexual harassment. Right. Why not? Why not? You Everybody get, else does. He's going to get two mil from that. Everybody saw it on TV. A Pop-Tart touched my booty with un, un, unwanted. Oh, I, I believe it, there's a lot. Of, I guarantee his his uh his agent said something to him about about that. Um, all right. So this uh let's see. This week uh we've got like five bad picks. So we're gonna spread them out over the show. Uh, we got two college and uh, three. Oh, I know I have one of them. And three <laughs> NFL. My, my Notre Dame pick was no. I know I have one of them. Forty five to three or whatever it was. <laughs> Yeah. Eastern well, Michigan. We've got five picks. Like, it's gonna, it's, it's the, I mean, five yeah, videos. Man, it's going it's to be a while. So, so before we go to break, we're going to show you, we're going to do bad picks. For folks listening on the radio, um, we show the videos on uh, from our picks from last week and, and, and uh, or, or a few weeks back. We should have put them in order. Five, four, three, two. Well, we're going to try our best. <laughs> we'll tell you, three, it's three NFL and two college. So well, you you this, is, uh, this is two weeks ago's picks. So this is the first round of bowls. Uh, and then we'll show the next one on the next break uh, when we come back. So um, this is our NCAA bad pick.